Hi, it's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and I want to review another website with you today. You know, I believe every business owner should have a bro in the web design industry taking great care of them. I'm passionate about internet marketing, and a solid website is one of the foundations of a successful internet marketing campaign. I'm always researching new technology and trends, and I like to share some of that research with you here. So I'll rate this website based on five criteria. Is it fast, responsive, secure, easy to use, and pretty? So let's get going. I have a I'm really excited and I have a really soft spot in my heart for this company. I love them a lot. I grew up eating their sandwiches and when mom and dad would say, hey guys, you want to get Jersey Mike's tonight? We'd be like, woo, we're getting Jersey Mike's. So I, as a kid growing up, uh, remember the location on Route 37 before it was called Little League, Thomas River East Little League, Champions Boulevard. And we would get these sandwiches. I'd always get the Californian, which is kind of funny because growing up in New Jersey and eventually winding up in California, I don't know, just random, but... Um, it was like a steak, it was like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich almost with lettuce, tomato, and onions, and then they smother it and they make it Mike's Way, which has oregano, oil, and vinegar, so it's just incredible. So, uh, really quick, because it's, I think it's really cool, I want to just tell you very uh, quickly about the history of this company. So, um, in the 50s, uh, Mike, the original Mike from Jersey Mike's, he started the company in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. He was really successful, he would just sell sandwiches in the summer. Um, a 14-year-old was hired at his company and worked there till he was 17 all through high school. When he was 17, this 14-year-old named Peter found out, and you can find this all right here, it's pretty cool, found out that Mike was selling his sandwich shop. So he loved working at Jersey Mike's, and uh, he had a knack for remember people, remembering people's sandwiches. You'd walk in and he'd remember your sandwich. So uh, he wanted to buy Mike's company, but at 17 years old, he didn't really have much money, so he got in contact with his high school coach who was also a banker. So his high school football coach was also a banker. He got in contact with him, let him know that he wanted to buy it. His coach loaned him the m wound up financing him one way or another. And in the 80s, they started franchising. So they started franchising. And then uh, by the 90s, I remember my locate the location that I grew up uh, loving. It was not the Point Pleasant location. It was the Tom's River location. So you can see that whole history right here. It's so cool. Um, let's get right into it, though. So uh, we asked ourselves, how, is, how did they build this beautiful website? Uh, the website was built right here um, on an Apache server using HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, we can see right here. So HTML5, JavaScript, JavaScript and uh, cascading style sheets, which is CSS. So the website was professionally built with an agency. A number of designers had their hands in this. And you can tell right here, which is cool, analytics and tracking. They've got all their analytic data coming in and they can make really cool charts about who's clicking on what and when. They're also using a lot of Google's high, um, most advanced technologies like double click um, is, is uh, really cool stuff. I would love to talk about that with anyone out there that wants to talk about double click. And maybe I'll even do a video about it one day here. So uh, make a long story short, they're, they've built a very powerful, uh, very beautiful website um, from not from scratch maybe but not using WordPress not using one of those other uh, platforms okay so let's go ahead and talk about um, what we like to do is start out talking about is the website fast so this website scored a C and a C through gtmetrics.com when I did my research uh, I found that minimizing directs would be probably their most high priority issue. Uh, I don't think this website, as beautiful as it is, will ever score much higher than a C, maybe a B if they really went in and got crazy, but they were very good at their content delivery. Um, and I can show you that right here where it says content delivery network. Um, so Cloudflare, um, JS Deliver and Cloudflare uh, are cool. Uh, they do a number of things to make your website load faster and with more organization, meaning that, so even though the website says it takes a total of 8.8 .8 seconds to load, it does that in such a way that you might not notice it. If you were sitting on this homepage for a second, you might not notice by the time you got to order that it had been loading. By You go to order, it's loading and it's um, giving you the information that you need when um, when you need it so that it's not, you know, loading the stuff on the bottom before the stuff on the top, to make a long story short. So uh, let's go ahead and say the website scores a 3 out of 5 for speed because when a website scores a C, I usually give it a 3 out of 5. I wanted to maybe score it a little lower because of the load time, but it's been organized so well that I did give it a 3 out of 5. 
So is the website responsive? Let's take a look. We find it on iPhone 6 at 100%. It is fully responsive. It looks great. And uh, as we scroll through, we can see that everything about it works perfectly. And then they also have an, a complete, they have a whole mobile app actually that uh, you can download on your phone, I guess. It says right here, get our mobile app. So they've really considered the idea that people are gonna be on this website on their cell phones. They've done a great job and they're going to get, uh, going to get a five out of five stars for responsiveness. All right, so is the website secure? It sure is, look at this. It's fully secure connection. Um, there's nothing to worry about when you're ordering, when you're browsing, and that sets up their search engine optimization team for success. So um, once they are ready to start really optimizing search engine terms, which we'll talk about in a little bit, at least they're secure. So they're going to get a 5 out of 5 stars for security. Is the website easy to use? It sure is. Even on a mobile device, it's like, I mean, when once I find the website, what do I want to do? I either want to order a sandwich, or I want to look at the menu, or I want to find a location, and everything is just really intuitive. If I want to find a location, I just go in here, I type in my zip code, and boom, there I am, I'm ready to go. So that's what I mean about speed. Look at how much data there is on this page, but that in the frame I was looking at, everything loaded up very quickly. So yeah, they go ahead and get a five out of five stars for how easy this website is to use. All right, so is the website pretty? Well, I'll go a step further, and I'll say this website is beautiful. Uh, I love I love everything about it. I think it's just really, really cool looking. I, I have to be careful. I can't even, there's a lot of clients, I can't even show them a website like this because the, the budget for this website is so intense that it would scare away a lot of clients. So, I, you know, I'm always jealous when I see a website this beautiful that, that some some company had uh, had the the budget to go ahead and build something this this wonderful. So as far as how pretty it is, I gave it a five out of five stars. I would give it more if I could. All right. So uh, here, let's talk about the search engine optimization real quick because as beautiful as this website is, as good as it looks, I think they have some work to do actually. Um, so there's a few terms I guess. You're on your cell phone. You're out. You're in. I'm incognito here so that my um, search um, history doesn't affect this query right here. So what do I want? I want the best sandwich, right? I mean, I don't know. Let's just, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I don't have access to the research that would be done if I wanted to tell you what are the absolute best sandwich search engine terms, but I'm just going to go off a limb here. Sir, uh, best sandwich. Let's see what happens. So Hollings said, I agree. <laughs> I actually agree. That's an awesome sandwich in the city of Orange. Jimmy John's and Lee's, eh, I want to see my Jersey Mike's right there. So I want to see Jersey Mike's for best sandwich. They're not on page one. They're not on page two. Uh, they're, I think I don't, I don't remember seeing on page three. They're not on page three. So let's see if they're in maps. They should be in maps. They should definitely be in maps. Hollingshead, Jimmy John's, Philly's best, Cortina's orange. Okay, so I haven't found them yet. Blue Frog, Togo's, Witch Witch, Bronx. Uh, there's Jersey Mike's. Okay, finally. So they're in maps at least for best sandwich. All right. So let's go ahead and do a quick search, another quick search. Um, fresh sandwich. I don't know. I want a fresh sandwich. Jimmy John's, Subway, uh, between sites. So I wish they were up top there. Let's see if they're on the first page here anywhere. I haven't found them yet. So best sandwich. So, I mean, so fresh sandwich. So, so their search engine optimization team hasn't figured out yet how to get on the very first page or the second page of Google for fresh sandwich. So I, I would work on that too. Why not? It's an important one. Uh, sandwich catering. So I think they should definitely show up for sandwich catering because they have a whole section about catering. So that helps them. Um, Togo's, Hollings Head, Jimmy John's. Okay, so let's find them. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, uh, Jersey Mike's. Where are you at? Okay, I haven't found them on page one. Uh, and we haven't found them on page two either. So I'm, I'm kind of disappointed about that. And then I, I think... I remember seeing on their website, here, hold on, let me just double check. I remember seeing somewhere on their website something about, uh, what was it about? Um, oh, yeah, it was about parties. Oh, I'm staring at it. Okay, so legendary parties, catering. So watch this. I, 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 I guarantee you watch this. This is what they must be going for is party catering. 
right? Because they write on their home page. So, oh, I wish they were right there. And I wish they were right there. Come on, guys, there they are. Okay, so catering, Jersey Mike subs. That's okay, I, they're right there. So just a little bit of work needs to be done, get them up on top of those other ones, and uh, start start taking customers right away from uh, Jimmy John's. Take customers away from Subway, you guys, come on. So anyway, in conclusion here, you guys, I think we can all agree that a website that is closer, a website that is closer to 25 out of 25 stars is exactly what you want to propel your marketing initiatives. Um, if you need any help rebuilding, maintaining, uh, repairing, or just completely replacing a website, give me a call, contact me. You can reach me, matt at mywebbro.com. Uh, you can subscribe to me here on YouTube, please, please do, and like me on Facebook. Tell your business uh, owner or your marketing manager friends all about me, and I'd love to talk to them anytime. Thank you so much for coming back.